in the playoffs, or will we see Deuce Volts take the world by surprise again? The rising stars from M5 placed in fourth place, taken down by Blacklist, able to even out this series one to one as we go through the tunnels of the virtual arena into the land of dawn. We go. Which way will this play out? Who will claim victorious? Yeah, I wish we had that virtual tunnel so we can go straight into the land of dawn. <laughs> I mean, this is uh, our Kihoshi on a match point right now. They is fault right now. The thing with their lineup is uh, it's good that they have this heavy front line. And it's going to be up to the, you know, Banana here and uh, even possibly Brusco here to, you know, pick off Sunset Lover and Hiko. And just as I was saying that, there's the Purifies coming out from Sunset Lover and Hiko just to make sure that they don't get caught up in the setups here by Brusco. And even to a point, the uh, zoning here from Banana will be a problem here. So for, for our Kyoshi, their winning condition here is to take down the back lines once this scales up. But as for Diaz Fault, they have this good early game too that can go at par with our Q Hoshi right now. We don't have first blood just yet, but all these players have been poking at each other. Brusco as well, giving the vision to our RQ Hoshi. But here comes Magistar though. Nice knock up, nice take in. And Whoa. that's gonna be the first blood being picked up by Deus Bolt. A good start for them as well. Playing patient and waiting for the opportunity. But now Irad rushing in to the three-man team of Deuce Fault, but Okta from afar trying to use the power of Gloom. Does not have level four, he does not have the black shoes. Needs to be careful. Neither side will fall in that engagement. Deuce Fault, though, like you said, claiming first blood. As we are looking at a couple of the emblems on the way as well, it's interesting enough, there's two concussive blasts and then also one Brave Smite for the side of Deuce Fault. So they're playing very sustainable and frontline oriented. And then you can say the same thing for RQ Hoshi, except it's a little bit of a flip as there's two Brave Smites and one concussive blast for their side, but still a strong frontline presence, which means when it comes to these 5v5 engagements, mm -hmm. there's gonna be some up close and personal fights. Well, Skylar is doing a really good job poking at Hiko here, making sure that he stays under your <laughs> turret. And now we're going to be seeing a team fight coming in here. Banana going to be forced to use in that Vengeance. Turtle at half HP, made that one fourth. There okay. goes Brusco with the setup. It's going to be Irad picking it up with the Retribution play. But there's Ghost Magistar. He gets bursted down here from the side of RQ. There's a nice setup here from Sawo. Minoan and Spira onto two, but everyone from RQ is still alive. Kid Bomba going to be able to sustain oh, all of that. But Brusco says no. It is going to be just a projection of him. So much pressure from the side Bomba! of RRQ Hosha. Bomb going to be able to tag this one up. He's able to sustain, but not for long as RRQ Hoshi going to be able to pick off Kid Bomba, but for the price of Iran. Well, I mean, I feel like they kind of won that trade, though, because they got two kills for one with the full extension of RRQ Hoshi really trying to go in for Kid Bomba. I don't really feel like that worked out in their favor like they planned it to. Oh my goodness! Hiko able to take down Skylar, but Sunset Lover, a sniper in the making with this mm -hmm. Navaria. This is exactly why you need to take it down. You need to take down Sunset Lover and that's the thing. This is the mission for Brusco and Banana and even Irad here to take down the back lines. And so far, Deus Vault has been keeping up here with RRQ Hoshi. And there goes the uh, the setup here from Brusco. Hiko did not pop in that Purify just yet, knowing that Sao is in the vicinity. Gets in that nice knockup. The oh. snipes coming out from the backside from Sunset Lover. Chucks Brusco to 1 HP, forced to back away 30 seconds before the next turtle is up. And so far, Deus Bolt is actually looking pretty good here in the gold lane. Everybody from Deuce Bolt, except for Kid Bomba so far, getting a piece of the pie. They all have one kill spread across the board so far. 4 to 2, leading by two kills overall, but only down by 400 gold. RQ Hoshi still maintaining uh, the gold despite. The kill difference as they were able to take that uh turtle in that first engagement now hiko was able to get the first kill over onto skylar normally you see skylar have the advantage in the gold lane compared to most marksmen and i would say deuce folks is up to a good start now the question is can they maintain their slight lead or do we see rq hoshi take this turtle yet again and be able to gain control of the early uh -huh. phase yep you just called it, RQ Hoshi. 
just like that. <laughs> Takes it in with the retribution. I, I do like the vision being provided here by uh, Sunset Lover. But the way that RRQ Hoshi contained that turtle pit, they weren't... They aren't able to get in. Like, Brusco was there just waiting in for the setup. Like, even the members here at these fold, the tankiest members, are gonna have second thoughts before they try to get it in. Here comes Magic Storm with the engage. It's gonna be the nice Minos yeah. viewer on the three. That's gonna be Brusco. Iran checking up all of the damage. Whoa. He's gonna be forced out, but gets tugged in there by Magic Storm. That's gonna be Dio's fault, taking down Irad once again. A nice trade-offs there, but it's still gonna be RRQ Hoshi just leading by a 400 gold lead. Let's take a look at that instant replay here. Yeah, putting RRQ Hoshi on a trampoline with that Minoan Fury triple knockup, sending them straight to the moon. Five to two so far, first five minutes, and RRQ Hoshi able to take both turtles but falling short on these kills they are still ahead of gold though making up the advantage from having these neutral objectives is keeping them in this game and in a slight lead he go off to a good start like we said able to get a kill onto skylar may delay the late game for carry looking at irad not off to the best start either one two and one already finding two deaths so far magister two to one so far on the scoreboard highest kills in the game overall and really outscaling yeah. so far inside of the jungle. Yeah, but Banana's just uh, like diving right in with this yo-yo. Even on the bottom side, that's gonna be a lot of pressure. Black shoes being popped here by Okta. So guys, just gonna be chalking down that tower onto the bottom side, able to take it in, but it's still alive with one HP <laughs> as RRQ creating in that pressure on the bottom side, understanding that there's gonna be that power spike too from Hiko, right? And if they don't, they kind of leave him unchecked. He's going to be able to wreck Havoc here up against RRQ once it comes to the late game. Yeah, and now the next turtle does spawn in. This will be the third one of the game. Both so far have gone to RQ Hoshi. Is the third time the charm for Deuce Volt? Or will they let another one slip through their fingers? As you already see an RQ Hoshi in a great position for the contest. Brusco waiting to hit that spatial migration. You can just feel him itching for the setup. Astro Echo connects though. Three man set mm -hmm. over there from Sunset Lover from afar. Yo, know, banana here. You know when when that CC is just play uh, using in that yo, it looks so innocent, oh right? Look at the damage it's causing, even up against Sao. And right now, banana, Brusco goes in with the dive, gets in Kid Bomba, and that's gonna be RRQ picking up two kills for the price of none. Hiko, he goes. Of course, he's in that blazing duet, not able to take anything in as Iran confirms the kill. RRQ Hoshi gonna be able to take the prime position once again to the turtle. This is the thing that RRQ has been doing since game number one taking in objectives after objectives as these both cannot take anything in 2k gold lead now making that a 3k lead up against these both yeah and keeping them in the game and also putting skylar ahead in gold now above uh hiko by a thousand even though he took a death over him in the early phase but now with the scoreboard equalized and the economy leading into the favor of RQ Hoshi, they may be able to open up this map more in their favor as they oh, took no, the turret on the bottom side. But Kibamba very low. Sawo with the knock of the Minoan Fury. Two man mm -hmm. set onto RQ Hoshi. Skylar will take him down though. Magister is connected. Death is welcome. Finds Brusco. Blaze duet from Hiko. Rushing on to Skylar. May be able to get him. Oh. Does get the kill. Deuce Fultz claiming the lead 7 to 6 in terms of kills, but still down by gold. Sunset Lever oh, is going to connect with Astro Flicker. Echo. I'm offended. Connect. Irad very low. Bamba on the chase. Banana taking him down. Nico very low. Vintage proc by Banana. Sunset Lever will find Irad. You're going to see Banana able to get out of there as well, providing a lot of presence with this CC of major annoyance so far, harassing Deuce Fultz. Yeah, see, this banana hasn't left the jungle side here at Deus Ball, just making sure that Magister and Sawo are contained while the rest of RRQ has been just working in those towers after towers. Two towers taken in by the side of RRQ Hoshi. Even though the gold lead is not that much, what RRQ Hoshi has more here is going to be the turret takes. And this is the same thing that they had. Turrets, objective gaming is going to be the thing here. 30 seconds before the Lord. And with the space created here by RRQ Hoshi, they should be able to take in this Lord. Um, with Deus Volt having a harder time to contest up against this. What can you say about the items here though? But speaking of the items, Kid Bomba though. Got to be getting it from Brusco here. As it's going to be a 2v1 situation with Kid Bomba unable to do anything at that point. 
Yeah, and speaking of the items, Skylar will pick up that Demon Hunter Sword. We'll be able to soak into that Barats with that high HP pool. He does have the Corrosion Scythe, and on top of that, the Golden Staff. A lot of core items working in his favor as he takes the Tier 2 turret on the top side. Oh, oh nice setup there by Sabo. Banana as well. Popping in that Vengeance. Astral Echo from the backside. Sabo's going to get chased here by Banana in Irad. I can't believe that the CC is causing that much damage, forcing the rest of the members here, Deus Bolt, to actually back away. Not only that, the Gloom's coming out from Octa is starting to hurt a lot too. They take in the mid tower right before this first Lord, and our Hihoshi is going to look to take this, is looking to take this Lord in. But Deus Bolt actually backing it away. Bruce Go. Finds another setup here onto Kid Bomba. Ooh. Irad working up on that Lord. And just like that, the leader from the map, Kid Bomba. Gonna get taken out as Deus Bolt. Not even able to get near the Lord as our RQ Hoshi will be taking in this first Lord of the game. Taking every single neutral objective so far. Haven't lost a single turret. And now leading by one kill and also up 4,000 gold. RRQ looking stronger than ever, holding that flag for Indonesia. Deuce Volts now forced on the back end, needs to have a counter response to be able to turn this game back around into their favor. Hiko on a one on one up against Banana. Sawa joining the party, wants a piece of it, wants to make a banana split. But you are going to see a little bit of split on the map. Deuce Volts taking it in the mid lane up against RRQ. Bruce go to space migration, not going to be able to connect. Sunset Lover does hit though with the astro echo and the snipe from the astro meteor man some heavy presence as we are seeing the lord on the top side make his way to the base of deuceful yeah I mean, no, sunset lover here hasn't been picked off just yet standing at the 204 so our q hoshi has to kind of respect that too like every single time they go for a clash you got that astral echo and by the time that Sunset Lover will be able to pick in either a Divine Glaive or even those uh, magic damage penetration items, it's going to be really hard, right? Our Kyoshi looking to take in the Lord. As long as they can take it, as long as they can take all these major objectives, they should be able to pressure out the lanes here of Day Small. Map control totally for the side of our Kyoshi. Six turrets. And all of the lords, all of the turtles went to the side of RRQ Hoshi. 37k lead for them as this Vault is holding on for their deal lives to extend this to a game number three. Yeah, and there's a lot of insurance for the side of RRQ Hoshi, right? You mentioned map control and their turrets. I mean, they have every single turret still standing and we are 12 minutes in. Deus Vault's not able to execute into their game plan jumping into this match, but hey, they may be able to turn it around if they play a little bit passively. They're definitely going to have to play for the late game, though. They can't really continue to contest. I mean, the gold is just way out there now. Up by 5,000 for the side of RQ Hoshi. As you're looking at some of those items on the board. But they are going to take the fight. Rusko not going to connect with the spatial migration. Decides to disengage. We are going to see this Lord spawning in the next 40 seconds. Sunset Lover with the Astro Echo connects to Okta. And will hit Banana. But do they take the fight? Hiko does. Wrenches in, mm -hmm. chips a little bit of damage on a banana though. He's not worried about it. This man's just rotating around with CC with ease. Yeah. It's a 10k, a 10k for Skylar in comparison oh to Hiko, actually. Yeah, Hiko only has like less than 10,000 here. So that in itself, Skylar has managed to to pick up all the items that you need. And you know, you, you mentioned late game. This is definitely going to go to the carry, right? All these tanky heroes can be melted down. Not unless you get that, that two-man setup. The chain CC combination from either Sawo and uh, Kid Bomba here. RQ Hoshi wasting no time. Knowing that, or uh, respecting the fact too, that they have the late game heroes here for the side of Deus Vault. They're knocking up the Slord. one fourth HP already for the side of Deus Vault. They're waiting for the proper time to come in, but they aren't able to get in. They're waiting for in some type of play. Ooh. Astral Echo, but that's going to be RQ Hoshi. Getting in that Lord for free, and Deus Vault just gonna be letting that one slide this time. 43k gold for the side of RRQ as Deus Vault just struggling to even contain their lanes as of this point. I don't know how many more punches Deus Vault's gonna be able to take. Is RRQ Ho Hoshi very aggressive and winning every single trade? I don't think they've lost a single trade so far. Looking at uh, Kid Bomba, this is the second time he's picked up this Ruby. The last time it wasn't as effective, and it's looking like a repetitive pattern. I mean, he's 0, 5, and 5. Highest deaths on this game so far, and hasn't really been able to provide a crucial set with the I'm Offended that Dez Fult is kind of relying on, as we are now going to see the Lord make his way down the mid lane. Yeah. 
Here it is. RQ Hoshi knocking in the doors. Brusco once again, but it's set up onto Magistor. And Skyler's gonna pick up the kill. Lawrence is knocking in the base of Dio's fall. That Skyler's gonna be chunking in that tower really, really fast. Inhibitors are gonna be going down here as RQ Hoshi just wasting no time, creating all the pressure on all of the lanes here. Man, this is gonna be really hard. Brusco just setting up the place here for their damage deals to be able to do the thing. And now here comes Savo with the setup. And the flickers out and the purifies is gonna nullify all of that as RQ Hoshi gonna still be pressuring in all of the lanes as they use fault. So I said lover though. To do anything at this point. Mm -hmm. Hiko goes in for the blazing duet from the backside. Banana gonna be able to soak that up, but Sunset Lover with that snipe kill able to pick off one and now Brusco in trouble too. Jumps right Bruce out, one, one half HP as Kid Bobo goes in for the flicker. Brusco goes down and that's gonna be it. These full claps back against our cube. A big turnaround miscalculation from the side of RRQ Hoshi. And it may cost them some grounding on the Land of Dawn as Deuce Volt's now in control. Will they be able to claim some of these turrets and push to their base? It looks like they are going for it down the mid lane. Astro Echo does connect for the slow on a banana on an Octa Sunset. Lover will be able to take the tier one turret. Wow. This is a four-man rotation coming in from Deuce Vault. Two turrets just like that. Hiko going to be taking in a lot of the damage coming out from Octa. And that is going to be our Kihoshi picking up another kill. Turrets are going down one by one. The turrets also expo exposed here from the side of Deus Vault. They don't have that inhibitor <laughs> onto the top side. 30 seconds in. This should be RRQ Hoshi still getting in that prime position for the Lord. They have to watch out for the snipes here coming out from uh, Sunset Lover. 305. He hasn't been shut down just yet. I love how Banana just walked down the mid lane and the entire team of Deus Vault said, Oh, I don't want no parts of that. We're just going to go all the way back to the base. <laughs> and away they went. As now they're back on the defensive stance, that slight advantage that they had now turned back around against them. Banana picking up the immortality. Uh, Bruce go having it as well. A little bit of a extra blanket of security as they are getting ready to take this Lord. I mean, look at how fast Skylar's chucking in that Lord. They should be able to take this one. Not unless there's going to be a steal. They're way too far. As RQ Hoshi going to be stealing the deal once again, taking in the second Luminous Lord of this game. Yeah, able to claim that Lord, which will put him in a great advantage to possibly be able to close this out. RQ Hoshi, one step away from making it to stage two in the playoffs. Deus Volt needs to find a way to contest. Can they stop this Luminous Lord in the full five-man team of Viva RRQ? Look at Banana, already ready, trying to bait out some of that utility before the Lord makes his way into the base. Bruce go again with the setup. He finds one, he finds Hiko. Not gonna be able to pop in that Purify just to save it in for something else. But right now, Astral Echo is gonna connect. Lord is gonna be marching in the base. They should be able to chunk this down, but lots of pressure coming in from the side of Deus Vault. They're tanking up all the bursts coming out from Hiko and even Sunset Lover. But the base is exposed. They only have one inhibitor left here, and RQ Hoshi's gonna be backing away, respecting the damage coming out from Deus Vault too. Yeah, but you are seeing Deus Vault starting to be able to defend very well. I mean, RQ Hoshi is down to two of their inhibitors for the mid and bottom side. And now this is officially the late game, meaning it's going to boil down to who can execute a little bit better. And now you're starting to see Deus Vault ready to take the fight over to RRQ Hoshi. They're not playing defensive anymore. It's time to play ball. Oh, it's Okta forced to use the black shoes. And you already see Astro Echo connect to three members. That is going to be Irrat, Okta, and Brusco with a little bit of that slow. Kidbamba rushing in, needs to get a good I'm offended, needs to get the set Dez Volt is looking for, but Brusco finds the Brusco! It's a migration in with the Violent Requiem, able to get out, 50% HP. Oh, there oh, goes Magister, welcome to death is run. welcome. Connects to the wall for the stun. Blazing wet from Hiko into the back line. Almost takes out Brusco, still alive. Irrad, very low. Magister needing to get back. Vengeance proc by Banana. Oh, look at Finding banana, his way though. into the team of Deus Volt. Immortality's been proc. Okta in the mid lane fights Kid Baba. Hiko finds Banana. Sunset Lover with the Astro Echo does connect. And that'll be a one for one trade for both sides, but they are not done. Trying to close the distance on Brusco, forcing out the spatial migration.
It is a 5k gold lead still in favor of RRQ Hoshi. The XP laner for the XP laner. The shutdown is going to be a big thing here for Deus Fall to shut down gold. Uh, going to go towards their side. Looking at the items here again. This is the point of the game. 19 minutes in, you got those immortalities up. It's going to be really hard to get that pick off. Not to mention the purifies here that uh, Brusco has been doing up against either Sunset Lover or Hiko. Sunset Lover has picked up that uh, Blood Wings too, adding up to the shield and the magic damage it can provide for the team. Low kill, co kill scores count actually for both sides, so it is going to be a matter of execution here once it reaches this mid to late game. And RQ Hoshi just going to be positioning themselves here in the Lord Pit, making sure that they take it in before Deus Vault. Astral Echo has been committed tier 2, and RQ Hoshi not going to commit anything just yet. And this is the chance they were looking for this entire game. Deus Volt may have a shot to even out this series up against RRQ Hoshi. This will all boil down to this play right here inside of the Lord Pit. And you are seeing Irad already pulling the aggro, trying to force the side of Deus Volt to engage. But they are playing passive. They are waiting. Both sides looking for a mistake to happen, mm -hmm. looking for an opportunity play for to engage, still play goes out. There's migration. Brusco connected for the knockup, but only catches Sawo. Didn't get what he was looking for. Will disengage. Lord at 50% HP. Debu now having control. Oh, they're still going right for it. on it. Big stun oh, no, on the Brusco. Brusco. Immortality being proc. Irrat trying to Irad. get in there for the red tree. Sunset lover. The Tonus will get a kill. Magister oh. is gonna claim it. Four days full. Hiko taking down Skylar. Irrat. Immortality being proc alongside Hiko side by side. But Hiko gets the double. Finds the kill. 50 to 12 on the scoreboard. And Deus Food has done it. They have turned this game around. RRQ Hoshi on the defense. Let's take a look at that instant replay. What just went down? Brusco was punished there. Magister landing in that nice Netona's welcome onto Irad before he could actually pop in that retribution. The burst is just too much here. And now Deus Bolt, the timers are ticking. It's down to Banana to defend this one. As Deus Bolt, they're looking to end this. The turn takes around to take us to a game number three. They're knocking in the base. They can go for a straight push here. Steph, they're knocking. And they to defend SR, Deus Bolt gonna be taking in game number two. We're gonna be heading towards a game number three. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a series.